If we all work together, we'll be strong and work uh, as one. And we really could just and focus on the youth and we could just uh, accomplish a lot. What we have been doing is having elders come to our school and having elder gatherings um, several times a year. I am a fluent Kuchin speaker and uh, we really need to um, focus on our youth, native youth, our children, and all people who want to learn their native language and focus on them to learn the basic Kuchin language conversation, the continents. Our vision for normalizing indigenous language in our school and in, in our in our homes and in our lives and in our future for youth to live and have as they continue through their lived experience. school uh, Hello, my name is William Fisher. I go to Cookshank School in Beaver, Alaska. I'm a senior. Our young people have the opportunity to learn their native language, especially Kuchin. And when they learn and they're willing to learn, um, and when they read their uh, their ancestral stories and they uh, read it uh, word for word, sentence by sentence, by no, but by knowing what they're saying, and I could really understand them, I listen to them from my heart, and that that is very very beautiful, and I'm very grateful for that. I chose to be a part of the program because once I started going back to school here. I realized how important my culture is and then the language that's connected to my culture and basically just seeing that bond that it has really impacted me and so I love learning more about my language and my culture with every meeting we have. Um, our featured student William Fisher has uh, put together and taken our efforts to the next level as he um, participates in the Crookshank School's uh, language program with his instructor, Paul Williams, Jr. The story's name is Dotso Tsetnegdo, and in English, it translates to English as the mouse and the fox. And basically, it's just like a little witch and set uh, story. In our culture, we have a lot of little stories like this. And not really long, but like, even the short ones tell a long story, you know, it's one of those type of things and I don't know I kind of just like came up with it it's in like the setting is like our beaver area or Gwich'in village area but not the Gwich'in village it's like the surrounding like the forest and stuff like that and it basically like uh basically all it talks about is like uh really like not a really hungry like a hungry fox wanting a meal and it sees this mouse but the mouse is smarter than the fox it's almost like cat and mouse but you know alaska by it i guess so yeah it's a pretty cool story because this is who we are and this is our identity and it's being documented and i'm just grateful for that from my heart it's a whole different experience being in a room without a bunch of elders around you and then being in that room. It's like a whole different atmosphere, a whole different aura that they have. It's like stepping into a whole different dimension almost. It's just like that their knowledge and stuff like that. It's just crazy to be around. It's all really lucky feeling to have.